morning, everybody. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're here at Volcano Bay this morning. Um, it's, it's pretty windy again, so we're expecting to be a little bit chilly when wet. Um, and also, I do suffer with uh, earache when it's windy and my ears are wet. So I'll show you what I've bought to protect my ears. I'm giving them a go, see if they work. We're in and got a tap of tapas and just around the corner. It's so beautiful. Take a guess what we're having for lunch. Longboard Hawaiian pizza, baby. With extra crushed red pepper. This is the way forward. Mum's got some hummus sticks with like hummus sticks, hummus with carrot sticks, celery. Yes. So these are eighteen forty nine without annual pass discount. Do you guys want some chili flakes? Oh yeah. Hi guys. Sorry we haven't updated you very much. It's hard here at Volcano Bay because they don't let you film on the rides and stuff. We will take you in the Mason River with us, but we've just had a lovely bit of fish. We have waited a bit long for it because it actually came fresh out the oven, which I don't mind waiting for. It was beautiful. So that came to 1850. Um, we activated our cup here earlier, so this will last us actually in Universal Studios as well. So we activate it here, it'll work later in the other parks. The only place it doesn't work is in the hotel. We've already been on Cracker Towel and we've tapped in again, which when we tapped in was a 165 minute wait. It's now down to 125, so we've got about two hours to wait, but we're going to go in the lazy rivers, have a look at the shop, go in the volcano. And the other rides, I've actually got quite a low wait time. Most of them are right now, I think. And actually, we were listening to somebody else who'd bought Fast Pass, Express Pass, and um, it doesn't actually allow you to jump the queue. It just allows you, say, if, if the rides were not right now, if they said tap in now and it was like half an hour, you get to skip the tap in bit, you just go straight to the queue. You don't actually jump the queue at all. So, for example, if Krakatau was a 125 minute wait, we would tap in, but if you've got Express, you don't need to tap in, you just get straight into the line. That's how that works. I'm not sure it's worth it here. There you go. Yes, it's got these ear things to prevent earache and stuff. They're like little rubbery things that you mould into your ear hole. Yeah, it's like, um, like wax, like clear wax. You mould it into a ball and then you don't push it in your ear, only a little bit. But then you just like smooth it over the rest of your ear to make a plug. I've not got them watertight, but I don't need them watertight. I just need the wind yeah. not to go in. It's quite windy, especially up when you climb up the stairs to the Yeah, the slide. up the stairs, it's windy. Yeah. Um, I'm having a great day so far though, aren't we? Yep. Here it is. This is not what I've seen in other pictures. <laughs> what was it again? Watery Fusion. So this was 6.38. So if you use your tapu on these little spots, you can get everybody wet. <laughs> so we just met Paula and Martin, they've been watching our vlogs, they came over and said hi. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for saying hi. You guys go home on Saturday, I hope you have the best time the rest of your holiday and hope you get a bit of nice sleep at Surfside because they are noisy hotels. <laughs> yeah, love bugs. It's the, love season. <laughs> it's the season of the love bug. They're all out. Do you know why they're called love bugs? Well, it's never just one bug, they're two and they're, they're linked. Ah. There's two buggers. <laughs> Scott's going to the bar, he's going to get himself a cocktail. And we bought our glass back, for, yeah, we bought our glass back from last time. Because we think we'll get um, a little bit of a discount on the refills. If you've never been to Volcano Bay before, there are two types of lazy river. So there's the lazy river where you can sit in like a ring. Or there's a wild river where it really is quite wild, like you've got lots of waves and it's really fast. Um, 
and for those you have to have on like a life vest that you can't go in without one even if you're a good swimmer you're not allowed to go in without one but I think it's nice just to like float about on it yeah, it's really cool it's my favorite one so this is where Scott's getting a drink it's called the dancing dragons and it looks like a ship there's lots of places you can sit down or sit around the bar there's Scotty in here there's fans up here because it is hot today bar shaped like a boat oh it's really cool they've got like hanging heads and stuff Volcano Bay Rum Punch, Blue Hawaiian, Tiki Punch, oh, Toasted Coconut. Oh, gee, I haven't even had a drink. Toasted Coconut Pineapple sounds good. Alright, you want a double or a single? There's loads of sunbeds, loads of umbrellas. I think they could do with a few more umbrellas if I'm honest. But even if you can't find somewhere to sit down here, there's loads of places. Like we've walked all the way around the back of the park and found some lockers and some seats around there, and it's really quiet. And these things with like the lid on them, they're the premium seating. The exit here for the drop slide, so it's up there somewhere, I can't really spot it. But you get in like this tube, and then the floor will drop from underneath you and you'll end up coming down here and this tube is like glassy so if you were on this in this pool wow if you were in this pool you can see the guys coming through the tube that one's not for me if i'm honest You got there, Scotty? Volcano Bay Rum Punch. Looks really pretty. Basically, lots of rum and pineapple juice, grenadine. Want to taste it? Is that the same one you had last time? I think so. Let's have a look back. Nice. <laughs> what caught me? <laughs> nice. <coughs> oh, I think it killed me. So if you've got a bit of cash to splash, this is what you would splash it on. You get your own Tapu Tapu station there, you can go on any ride. Um, you don't have to go up to the ride to do your Tapu Tapu. You've got your own little bed, you've got curtains, lights, fan, you get a fridge, a safe. You could order food and they'll bring it all to you. And they also bring you a huge basket of fruit that you can nibble on. A lot of money though. Very cool though, you can either go on the ground floor or the top floor. I mean, everyone wants the top floor, surely. Go on, Kev. Dreaming. Mm. Oh, you've done it. Like that, Kev. Go in the shallow end then. <laughs> 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 Is that one bigger? Go on your belly then and then roll over, hold it still. Three. Now what? Let me push you to the What's this thing like? There's so many rings in here, we're getting like a jam.
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So we're heading out now, we've had a fantastic day here haven't we? We finished on another ride on Krakatau, oh my god, it's just, it makes me laugh so hard. It's like my elbows are sticking into my mum's skin and she was screaming, we were all screaming. Um, we're heading back to the hotel now. <coughs> if we've got time we'll go to Walmart, if, if not we're going to do a late night Universal Island of Adventure. So that's, that'll be cool. Anyway. See you in a bit. Right, we came back to the room and we've had a quick shower and actually we went, we were a bit peckish, we went to the canteen and picked up a child's grilled cheese and it came with fries. This was under a recommendation of Seashawn Blog, Taz and Sean. And um, we picked up because we thought we just want something small really. OMG. So it was $7, the kids meal, right, we went for the kids meal. It was a whole sandwich, grilled cheese so good right and then then there were the chips they were probably some of the best chips i've ever had don't you agree i'm instagram don't you agree yeah they were really good like, <laughs> the best chips i've ever had yeah they were so good they were like really crispy on the outside kind of a bit like a wedge uh, wedgie but yeah wedgie wedge <laughs> than a potato wedge but 100 times better crispy and fluffy in the middle and for seven dollars that also came with a little carton of juice oh my god it was so good it was so good so we're heading into the parks now just got to return our towels which we took to volcano bay today we didn't bring any towels with us we've just picked up the pool towels so we'll drop them back now and then head on into the parks for some nighttime rides i'm so excited for this hopefully we can get on hagrid's in the dark let's see so this floor, I do like it, but the carpet is a little bit different to Surfside. I prefer Surfside's carpet. <laughs> Not that it's a big thing, but just out of interest. We happen to be right by the pool, which is really handy. These lights look great at night, by the way. We look like we're actually under a dock. Okay, so here we are. This is the pool area. A little bit of Toto playing. Just chuck it in there. And that's where you pick them up from, that little bit. Still lovely and warm. We activated our cup at Volcano Bay, and like I said, it will be usable later on. But as a bit of a water snob myself, I have been drinking the water out of the freestyle, freestyle machines. And it's absolutely fine, and I'm a water snob. It's actually really nice to see the lobby quiet for once. When we've been coming through here, it's just been rammed of like cheerleaders and groups, but it seems like quite quiet now. It is a nice lobby, and it's, it's a lovely hotel, but Surfside, I think, is our favourite, if I had to choose. We do have Starbucks on site in the lobby. We also have an indoor bar, which Surfside doesn't have. Um, the canteen is huge, but busy. In all of the hotels, there's a Universal Studios store, and they do have their own little resort kind of merch. Let me just show you guys. So you've got... This kind of thing which is a, a rash vest you can wear in the water towels they've got their own universal endless summer towel which i really like actually tempted to get that little photo frame that's just pretty cute got a headband there with the logo on socks christmas ornament key rings magnets uh, we've got mugs coffee mugs shot glasses I've got a girl's t-shirt there. Quicksilver stuff there. Um, so we've actually got these at home. We've cracked one actually, but it's staying together because it's got... These are $6. I'm sure there were more. Anyway, we'll probably get another one of those just to replace the one we've broken. These are both coasters. That is $8. That one's slightly more expensive. The wind hasn't died down any. Look at it. Walk, 
TikTok is looking glorious tonight. And it's feeling good too. There's a little bit of a breeze, but it, the air is still warm. minutes but we waited for front row so we obviously had to wait a bit longer just me and mum so good but oh my god we were so nervous but to get on it oh the hands were sweating and everything oh, the air time though the air time <laughs> i think i dribbled at one point right hagrid's i don't know there's like a big truck maybe there's a velociraptor on the loose No idea. No idea. Actually, like Scott said, maybe they're filming an, ad an advert there. I don't know. There are a few groups in today. Aspire, weren't they? Something like that. You know, when they shut City Walk off and they're private, 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 private event. event. But I know if I go on, I'm not Seems to happen during the weekdays, not so much at the weekends. They better not shut mine, really. <laughs> oh, careful. They might. Ooh. It's so gang, the sun has set upon us and the lights are on, it's, it's looking great. I'm dragging everybody on, Dr. Doom's fearful, mum's never been on it or done anything like it, Scott's not a great fan, get a bit kept up for it, let's do it. Everything looks so good at night, like everything seems to pop more, the stuff that's supposed to pop really pops. They are quite bright, yes. Oh, bless you! <laughs> Stanley Boulevard, look. Never noticed that before. Five minutes, good! That's what we like to see. See if I can get that full moon. Actually, it's not quite full. The seats. Do you want to show us the seats, Scott? Now show us your scared face. This is my scared face. Are you scared, Ma? No, she is. She's breaking it. That was so awesome. How good was that? Oh my god. It's actually quite fun, it's just my height sphere. I was like, open your eyes! Bob, is that good? It's pretty good. I'm not quite excited at all, I expected it to be a lot worse than that. It's really good. I knew you'd be alright. Okay. <laughs> Instead of exiting through a gift shop, we'd actually come through the arcade. I like looking in the claw machines to see what toys they have. On the way out, just stopping into the Christmas shop in Port of Entry. We haven't looked in any Christmas shops yet. Pretty good at bad decisions. Well, that's me. Feast mode. Oh, I like that. That's on the back. Oh, wait. Oh, it's two t-shirts. Okay, that confused me then. Oh, look at that onesie now. Ah, oh, and it's matching tiny ones. Cool. Oh, look, look at the, ha the hair on the top. Mm. <laughs> That's really cool. And uh, my mum is going for this ornament. It's got the universal ball and then it spins as well. How much is that? Nineteen dollars. Nineteen. And then with the annual price discount, slightly less. It's so weird to hear Christmas music in May. <laughs> Never seen these before. They're Christmas cards, but they're all um, Harry Potter themed. They're not cheap. They're eight dollars each. They are nice though. If you've got someone who's a real fanatic of Harry Potter, let's see what this one is. Yeah, I'd say they weren't worth eight dollars. Although that one's been stitched, see, like embroidered. That's pretty cool. 
you've got a big Harry Potter themed tree and then to the right just by the door you've got the houses so you've got Slytherin tree, Gryffindor, pretty cool. I'll say everything's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All the outfits. Oh that's from the ball. That's sweet. <laughs> Not cool. a quick glance at the menu. Pause this if you want to have a better look. I mean, they do like chicken wings, burgers, steaks, ribs. Um, Scott was actually eyeing up this salad. Oh, no, I'm getting to it. He was eyeing up this salad. And then, well, like, when you look at the price, like, it's cheaper to get a burger than it is to get a salad. So he's actually going to go for this burger because he was, he was torn between the two. And there's an offer, which you would have seen before on the signs there. Um, the mini pizzas are $7, they're build your own, so I'm not sure if I can pick one of these or I have to make my own with only four toppings. We'll find out. And also the pizzukis, these are gorgeous by the way. They were on offer at half price. Okay. To be honest, I wouldn't pay $12 for a pizzuki, that's quite a lot. They are good though. So it's like cookie dough which has been not fully co cooked and it comes out with ice cream on and it's well hot and it's just ooey and gooey. So I've got a six dollar margarita. They're on happy hour at the moment after nine o'clock. I mean, money's take a guess what you think Scott's got there. I'm not even gonna bother. Mother, take a guess what she's got there. Glass of wine. Very posh. You get a, like a jar of it as well. They are half price tonight, aren't they? Wines? Yeah. Beer. Cheers. Beer, cheers. <laughs> Yeah. Gone. Mm. I like that. So Mum and Kev got some wings and fries. Scott has got the what was it called? Uh, the bacon. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, well, you can see what it's it is. Got it's bacon, a burger. Bacon, guacamole, jalapenos, onions, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, it's, uh, I. It's was a deluxe. Spicy aioli. Yeah, spicy aioli. Cool. And uh, I got a mini pizza. The chicken ranch. So it's got ranch sauce on it, grilled chicken and bacon. Yum. Scott's burger is huge. And wow, spicy. Oh my god. Get in there, son. Mum thought I had a jacket potato. <laughs> that food was really good. We'll pop in the bill here. We're going to sign off the vlog now because we're all absolutely shattered. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you've enjoyed watching. See you later. Bye.